Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to our integrated barangay tutorial. So I am KD Kasim, your teacher for today. So naata karon sa barangay kauswagan o giplahan sa Buanga Sibugay. So for this time, atong i-discuss ang statistics and probability sa third quarter week 1. So for the first week or the quarter 3 in the first week, we have MELCs. What do you mean by MELCs? The most essential learning competencies. So there are four competencies na atong i-develop to learn in this lesson. So we have number one, illustrate a random variable, either discrete and continuous. We have to illustrate kung ang random variable, kung sa itawag discrete pa siya or continuous variable. Kung sa ang mga angay na itong may bawan, na kana siya, itawag siya discrete or continuous. Second, distinguish between a discrete and a continuous random variable. So, i-distinguish na to, given a problem or situation, kung kana ba discrete, so atong mahibawan kung discrete siya or continuous. Third, milk is find the values of a random variable. Unsa ang mga values sa random variable? So, when we say variable, meaning na siya yung mga respective values. For example, the variables x, y, z, so any letters that represent variables, so na siya yung mga corresponding values. Ang ikaupat ng milk, illustrate a probability distribution for a discrete random variable and its properties. So meaning, makahimu tadiri o probability distribution. How to make probability distribution? So this is our lesson for this day. So first, natin kitawag discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So when we say discrete random variable, that is countable. So when, what is countable? Kanang ma-count, ma-ihap. For example, 1. Diba? Mag-count ka. 2, 3, or kung ipun. If none, wala siya. So, 0. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. That is called discrete random variable. When we say continuous random variable, so, katong mga numbers na dilit makaw. So, those numbers that are not countable. So, for example, Ang atong temperature, no? We have when we go inside the mall or restaurant or shop na ay equal for this pandemic, di ba na ay katong gun, thermometer gun? For example, imong degrees, degree measure or 35.6 degrees Celsius. So, meaning, wala ka ni above sa 37 degrees Celsius, pwede ka musulod sa restaurant or sa mall kung i-check ka sa katong gun. So, kana siya, hindi mo na ito makaun. Kaya ang temperature mag-change-change. Pwede yun niya, mahi mo na ito kang 34, 34, 36, mag-change-change sa iya ha, value. So, bitawa na siya, continuous random variable. Okay, nakuha. So, for this time, please now have an example, letter A. Illustrate a random variable as discrete or continuous. Write D for discrete and C for continuous. So I have here five given situations that you are going to write or determine, illustrate a random variable. So for number one, general percentage average. So sa atong mga grado, especially for this time pandemic, naagyan po tayong mga general average sa atong mga subjects. For example, imuhang first quarter is 85.38 ang imong average. Sa second quarter, 89.95 imong ang general percentage average. And third quarter is 90.5. So, is it countable or not? Okay, this is not countable. Kasi mayroon siyang mga specific decimal places or point. So, since this is not countable, what do you call this random variable? Okay, this is continuous random variable. So, we will write letter C. That is continuous random variable. Okay, let's proceed with number 2. Identification or ID number. So, sa atong ispilahan, nagitay mga ID. 
So example, kung nakasalita A yung mga piliin daw, so you have the num ID number 1, 2, 3, alphabetical order. So for here, if we have your ID number, number in as one section, for example, natay 5 ka students, so si number 1, ang yung ID number is 1, then we have second student, yung ID number is 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it countable? Yes. Okay, this is countable. Especially, ang countable is whole number. No? Ma-count pa ni mo. So this is discrete or continuous? Discrete. Okay, this is discrete random variable. So we write letter D. Let's now proceed to number 3 example. Height of grade 11 ABM students. ABM, that is accountancy, business, and management students. For example, ang kuwatang height sa mga estudyante. For here, duha ka students, the first height is 152.3 cm. Ang second student is 164.2 cm. So, is it countable? Not. Okay, not. Kasi mayroon siyang decimal point or decimal places. So, is it continuous or discrete? Continuous. Okay, continuous random variable. Very good. So, that is continuous. Number four, weight of grade 11 STEM students. Ilahan kong timbang sa STEM at ang kuhaon. Ang first na student is 52.3 kilograms. Ang second is 58.5 kilograms. Is it countable or not? Nah. Okay, this is not countable. Since dili siya countable, what do you call this random variable? Continuous. Okay, very good. That is continuous random variable. Okay, this now have number five. Spots in a rolling die. Kita mo itong itsa nga na siya die or die siya kung plural. Daghan. Isa na nga siya, itawag siya die. Di ba sa spot nato siya one, isa ka burag black in nga one, then ako yung two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So na siya up to six ang yung spots. Mga spots niya. Is it countable or not? Countable. Okay, countable. So since this is countable, what do you call this random variable? Discrete. Very good. This is discrete random variable. So is it easy for you to get to illustrate discrete or continuous random variable? So okay na. Let's now proceed with our letter B. So we have your number of tails. Okay, for the number of tails, as you can see, if you have your coin, uh, front ana is ang face, dito wag siyang head. Ang salikod sa coin, ditawag siya o tail. So here, suppose three coins, tunod ang coins are tossed. Let y be the random variable representing the number of tails that occur. Submission or the problem, you are going to tabulate the results and illustrate the, the probability distribution. So we have here, in the given problem, let's now make a table because in the given problem, you are going to tabulate the results. You tabulate, meaning tabulate, meaning you will make a table. So, natin gini mong a table diri. Assuming na wala pa rin siya answer. So, the name of the table sa above, ito wag siya possible outcomes. And the second column is value of the random variable y. So, this y represents the number of tails. Meaning sa kanabitaw sa money, sa coin, inigtos ni mo, di ba, kung naay ka itong itos, na siya hari or patay. Di ba, hari, patay. Hari meaning heads, tail meaning patay. So, atong uh, question ka ron, pila ka patay nga coin, tails man atong pangitaon. So, we have here, tulog ang coins ng itos, na ay possibility, when we talk about probability, na ay possibility, na ay possible outcomes nga mga gawas nga ang tulog ka coins when you toss na ay H H H what do you mean by H H H so meaning ang tulog ka coins ini it's a mo na ay possibility nga head hari tulog ka coins hari di ba H H H then itali ni mo dili pila man ang value sa patay kung palitan tulog ka coins hari na ba'y patay wala di ba wala so you write here zero so meaning there is no Tail. Wala siya yung tail na nag-occur. Another one na ay possible outcome that when you toss the coins, head, head, tail. So meaning, hari, hari, patay. 
Remember that we are going to take the number of tails. Pila kapatay nga ni Kukor. So we have here, isa. So therefore, you write, one. Another, another possible outcome, pwede po ang first point is H, second is T, third is H. Meaning head, tail, head. So how many number of tails? One. Only one. So you write one. Fourth possible outcome, when you toss the point, pwede siya head, tail, tail. Then count the number of tails, na ay possibility na two ang atong number of tails. Another one, pwede po siya THH, meaning one tail, two heads. Remember na imong ipon is only the tail. So there is only one tail. We have possible outcome THT, so meaning there are two tails, so you write two. Then we have possible outcomes TTH, how many tails? Two. Okay, two. So we have two. How about lahat ng points patay, no? Tail. So tail, tail, tail. So how many number of tails? Three. Okay, there are three. So this is now our solution for the possible outcomes and the value of the random variable y, which is the number of tails. So depending sa problem, kung ang given po sa question kay number of heads, so meaning, kung heads po dinire, so pila man ka heads, pwede po siya, three. Kay heads naman po. Pero atong problem, kay tail man po, so mga tails na ginang natuwag i, tali. Okay, let's now have how to create or to make probability distribution. So for example here, magkuha ka sa data number of tails y, inyong nakita, di ba natay zero ka tail? Isa zero. Na ba tayo one? Di ba na ah? So ayun na, balikan, sulat. Isa lang ka one ang ibutan, number of tails. Na tayo two? Okay, sulat ang number two. Na tayo three? Yes. Okay, three. So remember that our number of tails, na ay possibility 3 points, na ay 0 tail, na ay 1 tail, na ay 2 tails, and 3 tails. So, what is the probability? Ang probability is represented by P of Y. So, P, probability of the Y. Again, ang Y is our tails. Atong buhaton karon, we are going to count pila kabok 0 ang sa table. Okay, first, pila man ka possible outcomes na nandar eh? Okay, pila ka possible outcomes? Okay, let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, meaning there are 8 possible outcomes. Mauna to ang ato ang himuog denominator. Kung pila ka possible outcomes. Then, ang numerator for the probability, ipun na to pila ka buok 0. So, as you can see, we have only 1. Isa ra ka, 0. So, mauna ang atong probability is 1 over 8. That is 1 8. The probability of 0. How about 1? Pila ka buok ang 1 na ning occur sa possible outcomes na tail? 3. Okay, let's count. Again, ang atong denominator is 8, which is the number of possible outcomes. If po na to pila ka buok 1 para mo to atong numerator. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3. So therefore, 3 over 8. Okay, next, 2. Pila na po ka 2? At ang telepon. So we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have 3 over 8. Then last, we have 3. Pila man ka 3? Ang ato ang tail? Only 1. So therefore, our probability is 1 over 8. Okay, so this is now the probability distribution. For our milk, we have four males for week one of quarter three in statistics and probability. So I hope you get our lesson for this day. So don't forget to click subscribe on our YouTube channel for more videos para matuduan tamo sa mga samples sa ato ang mathematics and statistics and probability. So this is our barangay tutorial intervention from Miplahan National High School. Uh, this is Pidi Kasi, your mathematics teacher. Thank you very much for watching.